my TED talk today is a little bit different. Today I'm going to be talking about Rosie the Riveter and specifically whether or not she is a icon. So I'm going to start out by just showing you who Rosie the Riveter is. Some people don't necessarily know. This is a picture of her. She is debated whether or not she's a real person, but this is her character. She's obviously flexing her muscles and she has a work jumpsuit on and her hair is tied back and she is meant to be looking like she's working. And then above her, the words, we can do it. So a little bit of context on Rosie. She was a piece of World War II propaganda. When all the men went off to the war, all their jobs were left and the women had to take over, start filling their jobs. So she was part of the movement to get people to take over men's jobs. Some things that the women did were like building cars. Uh, Rosie is called Rosie the Riveter because she worked in like a riveting place. She had like a riveter gun or something in one of the pictures. Um, this is really important because it's a turning point for feminism. When all the women came up and took the men's jobs. They had never done anything like that before. This was super new and it totally changed the viewpoint on women. And it's believed that we wouldn't have won World War II if it wasn't for all the women working back at home. So the definition of an icon from Hannah Collins, um, an article she wrote is, an iconic character is essentially someone whose presence is so desirable that it independently elevates their story. Someone who you want to spend time with and go on any adventure with. They don't always have to be relatable or even heroic, just really interesting and by extension, probably really cool. Um, one example she used, I don't know if anybody else watches Game of Thrones, but there's a character named Jon Snow and he's super popular right now, probably because he's really attractive, but she talked about whether or not he could be considered an icon and she said that his character has not been around long enough. Although he is really popular right now, he's not an icon because he's not memorable. And obviously it hasn't been a long time since the show came out. So based on that definition by Hannah Collins, I think that Rosie is considered an icon. She's classic and memorable. Obviously that poster has been pictured everywhere. Beyonce dressed up as Rosie the Riveter once for Halloween. Um, the We Can Do It slogan is on pieces of merchandise like cups and shirts and her slogan is still being used today. Um, she represents a change in feminism. Again, the context of World War II, all the women coming up and filling the men's jobs. That's huge and completely changed how the world viewed women, especially in America. Again, she's still used as a symbol today. The other side of the argument is why she is not considered an icon. Some people argue that she's not considered an icon because her purpose was for productivity instead of inspiration. She was meant to just get women working because they needed the products and that can't mean anything more. Her slogan of we can do it was supposed to mean, okay ladies, work harder, you need to finish your job better, you can do your job and go home. Instead of, you can do anything you set your mind to, you're incredible. Um, and then their jobs were taken when the men came home. Once the war was over, the women were basically put back into the homes. S I mean, still, it was still a huge turning point because women had never gotten the opportunity to even show that they were capable of jobs like that. But people think that that was not great because their jobs were taken away when they came home. The compromise between the two perspectives, um, all of the perspectives agree that Rosie and the other forms of the propaganda during this time, they helped persuade women to join the workforce and reveal their true abilities. So why this matters, this is a huge symbol to feminists still today. Um, it can inspire younger generations about equality, and it shows that women can do anything, including men's jobs. 
I think that it's important to look at icons like Rosie the Riveter and be inspired from her rather than icons like Kim Kardashian who don't really do anything or represent any good. <laughs> That's it.